Well, well. Health and safety takes an holiday. Roll up. Roll up. Anybody got heads better? Roll up. What's all this then? What? What do you mean, man? I I'm just doing my job. I'm just manning the switch, man. What, what do you want from me? Jeez, Louise, I was just being cordial. My name ain't Louise, okay? It ain't, it ain't, man. Sounds like someone's been beaten about the face with a wacky stick. There's only one thing that annoys me more than a public sign with bad grammar. Time's new Roman. I'll say no more. Hey, hey man, I need that. Whoa, okay, right. Get off, mind your business. Nah, you're just being stupid. So what's wrong with the ride? So what? What? N nothing, man. Lay off. Oh, yeah, calm down, stuttering Stanley. My name ain't Stanley, neither. It gets. Nothing's wrong? Then why the sign? Well, well, what sign, man? What sign? I don't know what you're talking about. You're not making any sense. Oh, I'm not making sense. Your grammatically erroneous notice indicates that your apparatus requires repair. What the hell, man? I don't even know what you're saying! Oh, forget it. I'll come back later. That guy's crazier than a fish with titties. Talking to that guy makes my ears bleed. This is a piss-poor excuse for a festival. Despite there being no entrance fee, I shall demand a full refund. Now, what's this? The Tunnel of... Oh, my hat. What horrific display of depravity and perversion awaits through the turnstile of this gallery of sexual deviance. Hector! Oh, I should have known. H-bomb, you hardly recognise me, eh? I've lost 14 skull. You look exactly the same. Yes, from here up, but to get me out of the basement of the Exotical, they had to cut off my legs. That's horrible. No, it's excellent. So much easier to find Signor Pene now, eh? Good old Rich, always a bright side. So, what's this tunnel all about? Some sort of cut price knocking shop, is that it? No. And then again, yes, in a way. It is a mysterious and tantalizing display that plums the very depths of your innermost desires, fantasies, and nightmares. Horotica, I call it. It's like nothing you've ever seen. Stimulating, arousing, while at the same time terrifying and uh, <laughs> actually rather disgusting at times. You'll love it. Disgusting? Coming from you, I'm actually rather frightened. Where did you put this together? Oh, it's just a little something I was working on on the side. Exotica was my bread and butter, kept me fed while I thought about the future. Fed you rather well, it seems. And now, with the recovery payments, NHS benefits, unemployment, not to mention the whopping insurance payout. Oh, Hector, if you could only crawl inside me and see what I can see. Uh, no thanks. Looks like you've already got a few people in there. So, is this you now, touring the country with a tunnel of sweet love? This? No, no, no. This is just a stopgap for me. I'm dabbling with a few new business ventures here and there, just waiting for the funds to come through. I'd tell you more, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, I can't uh, wait. Filthy rich. Blimey, you're looking well. I'm in for a guy whose business fell apart on him, literally. Ah, oh, Hector, when an entire building falls on you, it's a good time to take stock of your life, know what I mean? Only too well. So, how's tricks since the Exotico, uh, shut down? Oh, Hector, I can't begin to express how... Heartbroken, how truly overjoyed I was to finally be shot of the place. Truth to be told, it was weighing me down. Now, I can follow my big dreams. It was weighing you down, yes. Big dreams. 
And now, with the recovery payments, NHS benefits, unemployment, not to mention the whopping insurance payout. Oh, Hector, if you could only crawl inside of me and see what I can see. Uh, no thanks. Looks like you've already got a few people in there. I have a confession to make. I knocked down your pawn shop. You did? Yep. Yeah. I really wish you hadn't told me that. Sorry. There goes my plausible deniability. Anyone from Midlands Insurance Rings, you were in Milton McCain's that day, yes? I'm here for you, brother. Or not, as you were. Anything I can do to make it up to you? Hector, you've done so much for me already. The loss of my business, my legs. Hector, you're a true saint. Is there nothing at all I can do? Truth of it all, I'm a bit peckish. Done. What are you in the mood for? Oh, something sweet, moist, and smells faintly of cherry. Are we talking about the same thing? Depends. What are you talking about? You first. Not you. I was talking about food. Ah, then I also was uh, talking about a food. Ciao. Later, homie. I'm no rich far too well to brave this monstrosity. Oh, two of my first loves. Eating and shooting indiscriminately at unsuspecting people. It's like asking a mother to choose between her children. Phew, got the last one. Only one, really. Pop that one up there when I saw you coming. Hoping for an easy sale, low-hanging fruit, as they say. My reputation precedes me. I can see it coming round the corner. I'm not even that hungry. Surprise, surprise. The one with a gun is the most popular booth at the fair. It appears that this area marks the end of all that Clapper's Reek has to offer. Oh, this guy's taking all day. Poor saps. Why don't they go behind a tent like I did? And yes, it was a number two. Smiles. I, I. Big twat. You'll be dead before six. Cake. Ah, Hector, you never stop giving. You're a true saint. And now I wish you to return the favor. This is for you. A free pass to my tunnel of sweet love. Yes, give it to a friend. And now I shall enjoy this delectable cake. <laughs> what was that? <coughs> Never mind that. What was that? Dios mio, where did you get this cake? Uh, the free sample tray at the jailbreak store. Not again. Fifth time today. So what's this jailbreak business, then? You got a loved one on the inside, sir. I do have quite a few acquaintances currently serving some time at Her Majesty's pleasure. No one I love enough to send a tray back to, necessarily. And don't you think a little pick-me-up like this would make their sentence seem just a little bit shorter? Judging by the looks of these, I'd say more like insult to injury. What's so special about these? I don't put any ingredients into the cakes that I wouldn't feed little Kiefer here. That narrows it down to crisps, then. Silly, not just crisps, other stuff too.
What's the secret ingredient? Uh, love, of course, and plenty of iron. <laughs> Please don't giggle inappropriately, it makes me nervous. So, what prompted you to start this endearing little initiative? Apart from me and Kiefer here, everyone else in our family is currently inside. His four uncles, two aunts, eight great uncles, 19 cousins, and several others suspected of being his father. Must make Christmas a bit quiet. Totally. Kiefer only just made bail, otherwise, I would have had to eat a whole tray of oven chips myself. I could go on talking about Kate all day, but I'm on duty. Want to talk about EastEnders instead? I'll ask the questions, love. All right, darling, I'm wise to your little scam. What scam? Baking cakes for prisoners with metal cutting tools inside. How is that a scam? It's my USP. It's practically on the sign. So, if your tray baits actually bust people out of prison, why aren't they flying off the shelves? Because word got out that some prisoners died before they made it to the hard centre. Choking or suicide? Can we talk about something else? Give me the real inside story on these cakes. Prices fluctuate based on your budget and the recipient's cell block and sentence. I mean, getting a set of cuff keys into an holding cell is miles from getting a pneumatic drill into maximum security, right? You actually do that? Five-tiered wedding cake. Delivery went smoothly right up to the consummation. Ooh, is that a poppy seed muffin? Gunpowder. Heard you bake it without the oven exploding. Ah, microwave. Hello. While I usually love food, this conversation bores me. Ted, half an hour. You'll be back. Yeah, probably. That heads back to the regurgitator. possible for me to have a quick word using your public address system. What do you think this is, Radio One? Well, the alarming lack of manners, melody and discernible talent is a bit misleading. No, Jimbo, big fan. Think I could come up there with ya? Depends, you got talent? I can fire a ping pong ball 15 yards without using my hands. Shame there isn't some kind of award ceremony for bare face horrific ugliness. Oh, wait, there is. Why don't you ask about the gurning competition? You look like a shoe in. One more poke out of you and I'll put my shoe in. I'll be back right after this. Yo, this one goes out to all my ladies. Yes, yes, yo. Man, would you like a map? A map? Of what? Of Clubfest, of course. Here you are. I realise that most of the residents aren't bright or sober enough to find their own arse with a torch. But I myself have no trouble seeing to the other side of this football pitch. No, thank you, dearie. Fudge doesn't agree with me. I didn't say anything that sounds like fudge. Toilets are down the end, pet. What are you, an idiot?
Bugger me. See? Trap me Tim so much better value when he's minced. Oi, trap me. Enjoy your coffee, did ya? Ach, didn't talk about that. I'm a fing butterfly again, but it's deep for the cocoon of fucking sobriety. Ah, get your faces painted here, kiddies! Ugh. I'll take that as a yes. Holy hand grenades. I keep thinking it's gonna be better in here each time, and it never is. Why Those things? Well, those things together, not bloody lightly. Hey, Lambert, you're ugly, right? Not unless Philomena's been lying to me. How would you like to use your powers for good instead of just frightening small children? I need to get up on stage to warn the public that I'm not ugly enough. Oh, boss, I'd like to help, but Meeks needs me here at the booth. We're doing a waterboarding demo in a few minutes. Let me remind you of something, Lambert. You and me, we're partners. And that means I own you. Just to ram that home, I'm putting you in my inventory. Now, when I tell you to do something, whether it's for the good of the town or merely for my own amusement, you do it. You got that? Sure, partner. <laughs> good. Lambert, you're about to be taken on a magical journey of discovery and wonderment. I guarantee it'll change your life, or at the very least, your face. Just keep your arms and legs inside the scooter at all times, cover your crutch, and open your mind. Sir, so I'd like Lambert here to experience all your ride has to offer. Absolutely, I give him the works. Thanks, boss. I like the gentle rides at fairgrounds. Before you go on, I must ask, any allergies or skin irritations? I require regular applications of hand sanitizer. Any sensitivities we should know about? My gums get tender after I floss. Are you pregnant? Pregnant? Why? Because you may be by the time it's over. <laughs> I'm a boy, silly. Right, on you go. Is this anything like the teacups? No, man, but it's nothing like the teacups. Oh, good, because I threw up after the teacups. Second star to the right. <laughs> and straight on to L. And that, Lambert, is where babies come from. What'd you think? Perfect. That's a whole lower level of ugly that I was unaware existed. Now all I need is a bleating breath in. Off you go then. Now you're just being stupid. He's a little busy with some sort of internal struggle right now. Hey, hey man, I need that. Whoa, okay, right. Get off, mind your business. Nah, can't be asked. Should I be saluting or something? The regurgitator, just this side of death. I distrust any piece of machinery that has more than six fluorescent colours on it. <laughs> 